Hi guys, my name is Tere and uh, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know what we're reviewing today, it is the fall of Hobo Johnson. I can't express to you how excited I am for this album and now it's out and now I can review it thoroughly. First of all, thank you guys for watching my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe below. Uh, I usually have new videos out every week uh, unless for some reason I don't, but then I'll let you guys know. Like this video if you want to see more of this. I wanted to say thank you to everybody who wrote some really nice comments underneath my last video. Um, talking about an issue that I have been struggling with since a very young age, so it was nice to hear that I'm not the only one and that uh, a lot of people go through this. So it made me feel less alone, so thank you. <laughs> but today, Hobo Johnson. The fall. I'm here for it. Mm, 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 mm. You have no idea. First track on this album is Tri Typical Story, which is a song we all heard. We love this track. I love this track. My gosh. I don't think the first time I actually listened to the lyrics. I love how there are many stories inside the song. I love that. I think that's so clever in this. We will review it. Well, it will be a short review because I already jammed out to it, but oh, it is a bop. I approve of this single. <laughs> Listen to this section of the song. It is so good. haven't listened to Typical Story yet, go listen to Typical Story. It is so good. And I feel like it's such a different sound than the rise of Hobo Johnson. I feel like there was a lot of, um, how do I say this, like poeticness in it from uh, the rise of Hobo Johnson. And this one is just loud. I, I love when things are loud. Like, oh, blow my eardrums out. Make me cry. Like, I, I'm <laughs> I'm here for it. If you haven't checked out that song, I will put my review of that song underneath. Uh, just keep in mind that it was really bad quality because it was like one of the first videos I ever did on this channel. But I have no regrets. None whatsoever. This song is a bop. And I'm so glad it was the first single on this album. So, without further ado, let's get into stuff we haven't heard yet. <laughs> Act two, Mover Awayer. Just love the title of that. It's not, oh, this person moved away. It's Mover Awayer. I'm, re I'm ready. I'm here for it. I want to hear what this sounds like because the Ugly Kid is right after it. And that's completely different than typical story. So is it combined? Mm, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, do it. <laughs> uh, 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 hello? <laughs> what was that intro? Yeah. They've got a hot one for you. <laughs> it's here. Who is it that love? Okay, this is more what I was expecting when I first like thought that this is what I thought typical story was going to be because of the rise of Hobo Johnson. This is what I thought, but ooh, this production wise, there's like a lot of background stuff he's incorporating. And I really, really like that. It's very different. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like there was so much in there. Hold on, I'm gonna look up the lyrics. Fear the man who doesn't understand that there's a million fish in the sea. Makes my Mondays feel like Fridays. Oh my God, that, it was at the chorus. She makes my Mondays feel like Friday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> in the actual verses, there's so much going on there and I feel like he's describing so much 
that right now. I can't pick it up because all I want to do is listen to the song. I don't want to interpret it. I just want to listen to the song. Or two that says she deserves someone better but every single guy she's ever loved to me sounds really fucking dumb right and stupid. i'm missing all of this with what the song is and if you're like a lyrical person you might not like this song as much because you might not un like like the only thing that i just interpreted was the chorus if I'm missing something really, really big in these, oh man, hold on, let me go back. Every single guy she's ever loved to me sounds really fucking dumb and stupid. If I come a man, I understand. So everybody around her is even telling her that she deserves better, and even uh, Frank, who is like every guy that I've even heard that she's dated is kind of a piece of shit. So, uh, yeah, like, are you surprised? Like, and basically he's saying, like, I will be that guy. If I was a man, I will be that guy. I will hold your cheek. I will, I would show you what a gentleman's supposed to be like. And that was a lot of interpreting. Oh, my brain. <laughs> You know what, kids? But let's think about it someday. You know, but you moved away. <laughs> you know what, kids? But let's think about it someday. <laughs> yeah. Two-tier car in a shitty park and lot. You know, I really miss you, and I hope that you. Wait, what? What did that just escalate? Hold on. What the heck just happened? Oh, I thought he said I nailed you in your car. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> I mean. He, he helped her to her car. Just want to make a point that out. <laughs> my bad. Hit me with the chorus. She makes my Mondays feel like Fridays. She makes my Monday Tuesdays taste like Penny. Ooh! That was such a good part of the song. I just want to keep that on a loop. That is such a good... Feel like Fridays. I love that track. Um, the verses might have been a little difficult for me because this is the very first time I'm hearing it. Now, if I waited a week after I listened to this uh, entire album, like 200 times, because that's usually the way I actually listen to these. <laughs> I'm a mess. Um, <laughs> I probably would understand the song even more and it wouldn't have been so difficult for me. But on first listen, it was with the verses because I really wanted you to keep up with the storyline. I just didn't keep up with it. Let me just say that I didn't. <laughs> but that chorus though, and then at the end, he didn't even like keep it like really, really loud. He like let it fade out and it was just him singing. <laughs> and uh can i just say the production standard <laughs> but a lot of people have been upping their production standard i'm not even gonna lie to you and i'm really impressed by this i hope it continues because uh <laughs> you keep giving me stuff like this and <laughs> I'm gonna have to come out with so many more reactions. Okay, uh, next song is Ugly Kid featuring Elohim. Elohim? 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 I've never heard of this artist and I really wanted to get into them sometime. So if anybody in below has any like information on this artist, please let me know. Kid, I already reacted to this underneath my rapid reviews, but uh, if you didn't see that, uh, I will give you a short snippet. Same time, I feel like there's a lot of jazz influences, and I really, really like it. this ending like i love this ending it's it's such a storytelling like hobo john said i expect this from him was real chunky growing up and 
he gets older and guess what? He's a little less chunky. Love that so much. It's storytelling and I'm here for it. Uh, this also makes me want to get a, around a campfire and just uh, roast some marshmallows. Anybody else getting that vibe? No? I'm alone? Accurate. Um, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> damn fucking ugly! Right, uh, next song, You and the Cockroach. Ooh, is this a typical story? Please be a typical- Ooh, blow my mind. I'm ready. Picture this, there's this cold floating rock, right? And at the bottom of the rock, there's this ocean. And for millions of years, these amoeba, they start turning into fish. That's literally my anxiety. <laughs> Sometimes I just sit in my room with a hoodie and like, pull the drawstrings and just think about life. And literally, that's what goes through my head. Everything he's saying is what goes through my head. for a few days and they start you know after a few days they start mashing parts because that's what happens i've never heard <laughs> six mashing parts <laughs> oh you're gonna die nothing to me so one day this guy's like you know what i'm gonna create the way he just got bang 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 this or oh my god and that of all this conflict all right this is a president and this president is orange he's got orange hair it's parted to the side it looks really dumb he's chubby he just went after a president oh oh i have him on instagram if donald trump blocks him it makes me so happy when people get blocked by donald trump because like in all honesty that really means you pissed him off like, you royally pissed him off, and that is the most childish shit I have ever... What are we? Like, teenagers in high school? I'm gonna block your shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm here for it. Keep going. Keep going. Please call, Please keep causing conflict, even though it's giving me major anxiety. Man. <sighs> if Donald Trump replies to uh, Hobo Johnson, um, I need to know. Too. I don't know what it is with guys with sausage fingers, but it messes their minds up, right? So they start big. You just gotta bring everybody to the table. Might as well just roast them all. Bring them all into a room and roast them all. Is this the campfire I was talking about? It's just like, you know what? I'm gonna fucking do it. I got a small dick. I ain't got nothing to lose. So he gets his thing and he presses the button. I got a small dick. I ain't got nothing to lose. Mashing parts. What is this? <laughs> I was not expecting all of that to happen. Like literally, I just I just got through two minutes and nine seconds of talking to go bang bang. I'm okay. Turkey bigger. I knew that answer. I'm smart. Are you smart? Get up there. Great. Hey. We're seeing these really scary concepts, and the concepts out there are going to. Die. But guess what? They don't want to die, so they create this new thing called. But it creates good, and out of the conflict arises. <laughs> I literally love when he gets hyped. Like he's literally like, oh my god. Cue the other guys like. But he has to go to his top cockroach scientist because guess what? New to show off or like floss our shit or anything like that. We just came to chill and have fun. Pharaoh he hobo Johnson. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I got from that. It came out as a single, but I was waiting until this moment. So without further ado. Get it. I wish that girl cried. She cried for a bunch of other reasons. I, I'm never going back to Four Seasons. I wish that I was Hey! Hey! Come through with the beat! Yes! My name is Teray and I approve of this message. I learned a lot from 
He ain't playing with this album. I love wanna be in cool, cut your hair and get a job like the rest of us do. I love how he said I would have bought a Bentley, but I'm not there yet. You will be, honey. Soon. You will be. And look like they all sing ballads. I could have bought a lamb with half a leap. Oh, I love this song. I love how Hobo Johnson is becoming more famous, but at the same time, it's staying the same, like, lyrically. And I really, really like that. He's not giving us trash. Like, most artists, when they reach a certain amount of fame, they just start releasing something, and then they're like, why don't you like it? But, like, I can see that he actually took his time and was like, hey, I'm gonna come out with an album, but it's gonna be my album. It's gonna have my feel to it, and I'm not gonna lose what I did in the first album. He just enhanced it. <laughs> Moonlight, let's go. I died before I wake. I don't tell you what to take. It's been that since the day you left. That little late. Little... What was that from? Was that from Romeo and Juliet 2? <laughs> I feel like that was a like kind of an ode to her uh, earlier stuff. I could be overreaching, but um, that's how I feel. I don't really, I don't know if it's production wise with that track, or I don't really understand what he was talking about with that track. But stylistically, I did like how he had the orchestra, the horns, and everything like that. I think that's what keeps the song for me. But other than that, I don't really like the song. I think maybe he tried to mash up too many things. But at the same time, that's literally like how the brain works also. It's like you think of one thought and think of another and think of another and mash it all together and come out with something. And I feel like that's also Hobo Johnson in general. So even though it's not my stylistic take, I do like how he may have... <laughs> Uh, attributed some of the uh, brought back some of the old songs and also had this new stylistic um, I'm gonna bring in some like orchestra um, production wise and then like just make it grand maybe in a week after I, like internalize it maybe it will be one of my favorites because I've noticed that in a week songs that have not been my favorite has been my favorite so happiness we are halfway through the album. Oh boy. Find happiness in the book you write is magnificent and I will- See, I love lyrics like this. I really hope you find a happiness in the book you write is magnificent. Thanks. Me too. Lovely little heart. And I said, Ashley, that's so fucking dumb to think that life just hands you something. Ashley again. So is the same girl? Granted, uh, do not come at me because I don't know if this is two different Ashleys or if even he's referring back to the first album. Um, but that's just what I'm interpreting because I did go back and listen to the first album before I listened to this one. I, I relate so much to that because like we do the dumbest shit when we're heartbroken and inebriated. <laughs> at least I do. I don't know about everybody else. I completely identify with him being heartbroken and deciding to do something to make his pain stop. But at the same time, you usually end up talking to the person that you hurt anyway. And it's even 10 times worse because you you really don't say the right things when you're drunk and you're under the influence. You just don't. I think this might be one of my favorite songs. That night, she's right. That's no, not gonna cry, not gonna cry. No, that's so accurate that you need to go through the most like even the first thing you're gonna produce is not gonna be your best stuff. And disappointment, you're gonna be met with disappointment, so you have to keep going. But some people, when they meet that disappointment, they just give up. They stop. And 
even in this video. My first video sucked. It sucked. But if I never would have started, I would have never been here. So, and I'm going on, I think my 26th upload. Like, that's, that blows my mind. Like, I never would have thought I would get subscribers or anything like that. So, if you're met with disappointment, don't stop. Keep going. And sometimes when you're honest like that with somebody, it might not go over well. Make a lot after our show, pretending that we're not even scared of But I know that I'm going to find a little bit of half you. God. Like, even talked about, like, his father's genetics and things like that, and yet we're still, like, he's still drinking, and, like, he understands, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this for my health-wise. It only works for a short period of time, and then you go back to hunting for happiness to fulfill that hole. Okay. Wrote exactly how I feel. So being done with being afraid, it, I hope you found happiness. Yeah. Oh, wow. That I may never change what I am so fucking done being so afraid. I really hope that you find happiness. Layered. It's so, he's talking about something that like is a part of the human condition that everybody can understand or at least has an inkling of. Uh, disappointment, failure, drinking, drugs, genetics, dying, like, trying to find happiness in a world that you might not be totally happy with. Alright. Personally, I love songs that, like, understand me better than I understand myself. All in my head. In my head, I think you all over me. In my head, you but feel my fancy. On with the track, sorry. Was the choir there the entire time? Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, that's how I feel like whenever I listen to an album and all of a sudden a bunch of people start singing. I'm like, how long have you been there? I feel like you're dead. Dude. So the guy. Who's high on the roof? I hope to die. This place sucks. I wonder why everything is like this. It's just government and it's politics and they brainwash you. Okay, that was a lot to soak in. But that is absolutely right. It's politics. It's government. It's the way the world has been structured for years and years on end. Oh, I'm sweating. I have anxiety. I can't. Oh, 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 oh. So the same. This fucking stuck in my brain. It's really weird. I think I'm going insane. Now. Oh. That was go. Oh. This is something definitely I would listen to while walking. That's definitely something I would keep just because of the production wise. I like the background singers and I like the message in it. Like, yeah, like even the questioning, even being like society makes us be the way we are, even though we're supposed to have original ideas and like actually like prosper as a human being and make our own like way. Like society sometimes puts us in these little boxes of what we should be like and we're not cookie cutter. We're all human. We're all shaped differently, made differently, different thoughts, different opinions. And sometimes our world is not made for it. So we have to break out of those boxes. But even when we do, it's just like <laughs> repercussions and like scolding and shame and guilt and bleh. <sighs> This song is <laughs> literally my, this whole album is literally my anxiety. <laughs> Like it's uncomfortable, but at the same time, it, it makes me feel better that somebody else feels the same way I do. And like, <laughs> it's hard to breathe. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, next one is Ode to Justin Bieber. I wonder what it's going to be like when Hobo Johnson is older and like maybe 70 years old and he goes back to a song called Ode to Justin Bieber. <laughs> Am I the only one that had that idea? That thought? No? Okay. What is this? Two DUI, seven thousand for the state. If I don't blow up, then I'm going back for minimum wage. So just smile, yo. What is this beat, though? I um. <laughs> I have no idea what he just said at all. At all. But oh my. I got your neighbor. I threw rocks and no one even cared. And you were on the front page of TMZ. I would walk home and just go to sleep. So freaking funny. Like he's. I, I now understand that he's comparing himself to Justin Bieber. <laughs> and like he was like, I threw rocks. And nobody cared. And like you threw eggs and everybody lost their shit. <laughs> uh, this is good. This is good. Yeah. Hobo Johnson get a Grammy? Oh my god. If Hobo Johnson got a Grammy, that would be freaking fantastic. <laughs> what the heck? A long way from sleeping in my car by the park. Yes! Yes! You have come a long way. Yes. So, I just got done listening to that song. I don't... Oh, to Justin Bieber. Hobo Johnson. It, it has that flavor. Like, it, it, it is what it is. Um, I like when he got personal at the end. Because that is a real question that I I even wonder if, if Frank wasn't that big, what would have happened to him? He was living out of his car. I wonder where he and maybe you he probably sh shouldn't think that way because like I'm just happy that he what has happened to him. And to see that struggle actually pay off, like, I don't know his personal story. I just know what he just said in the lyrics and things like that and what I heard from his last album. Um, there's everything he's getting. And I know there's other really talented people out there. I hope they don't give up on their dreams. I think he could have. Uh... Like, I don't understand the beginning part. I feel like he should have just started comparing Justin Bieber with himself immediately, rather than like giving me a whole verse of, I don't even remember what it was. Um, but this is not my favorite. Now, I would, again, I would love to see his reaction when he's 70 years old and goes back to this song and is like, like, is Justin Bieber still gonna be around? But I, I, I would love to see his reaction. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, way to actually like capture a moment in history. Justin Bieber. Cool. Okay, February 15th. This is only a minute and 49 seconds long. That's really funny because I was trying to figure out where the hell he was February 15th. Like I know his life. <laughs> I was like, can I read and Simone this shit and like, I can see into the future. Things are starting to know. Well, my old ones don't talk to me anymore. My ex knows when my last was my last one. Hey, guess why I saw my stupid fucking actions. Oh, forever! But I'm getting used to the thought. Except late at night, you know, maybe I'm not. Well, I saw emotionally unstable. I'm just a crazy fucking guy who's. 
I'm emotionally unstable. I'm a crazy fucking guy. Hi, my name is Terrain. <laughs> I'm unstable. For years, I'm gonna pay to make it stop. Mm. I really like that one. It was only a minute and 49 seconds and I really, really like that. And I think it's just because it was a live version of it. Whew. And uh, I really, just so hard. <laughs> All right, track 11, second to last track. Sorry, my dear. Hmm. I was not expecting the song to start out this way. That's some cult shit. Like, <laughs> welcome to our club. We hope you like Tuesday. Just come to a place to lay my head. Get arsenic and lace. Just kill me. Arsenic and lace is one of my favorite movies, just saying. I actually have that on DVD. I'm really proud that I know that reference. Sorry. Um, he's talking about some really heavy shit. Bring it up beat a little bit. Oh man, oh man. I'm trying to grasp what he's saying, but the production is so overpowering it. I'm gonna listen to the rest of this, but I do not like the production at all. I wonder if he actually made it that way for a reason, and I'm just not getting it. But he's talking about some really heavy shit. Ooh. Being alive is wishing that you weren't sometimes. I love that line. Oh my gosh. Yes. See, I wish I could actually understand it. Mmm. I would like to hear this without the synthesizers or what he used. I would like to hear this live with just him. I don't understand why this song was not just live with just him. Like, follow February 15th and like keep going. Ooh, it's about to rain. Okay, uh, about the end chorus on, I finally got used to that sound. Um, and I could actually understand what he was saying. Do I think that sound was necessary in the song? No. Um, I think I would have liked to hear more of what he was saying if I could understand it. Um, but it is going down as one of my favorite. It's a very good song. The lyrics are very good. But I would like to hear it live and I would like to know what he's saying. That's the only critique I have. But when like even the production became grand, it was so good. I just didn't understand what he was saying because of the vocal um, uh, fluctuations. And then like the, the production in the background was just overpowering each other. Um, but I definitely think it's a song that should be listened to. Definitely. Last song, I Want a Dog. Do you know how many times I say that a day? Especially pit bulls. I love pit bulls. I want a dog. Sorry, this is not about me. Okay, end song. Really want a dog and a wife who loves to talk about the day that she had. I want a house that's on a street. I want that too. <laughs> I love this track so much because I think that's all people really want sometimes and like it, it's just somebody to understand them a dog a nice house something different and especially when they have grown up with maybe such a shitty ass past shit you were not treated right 
were not loved for some reason, you maybe were meant to be an adult when you were a kid, maybe you were meant to take care of others when it wasn't your place to, maybe like you've had things taken away from you, maybe you were homeless and you had to deal with those issues at a very young age and maybe when you older all you want is just a house somebody to come home to and a freaking dog and maybe make a little bit of money because like you need money to live that's it people who haven't had the best past maybe didn't have the best example of love maybe didn't have the best examples of what a proper house was supposed to be maybe what a family maybe your biological family doesn't talk to you and you built your own family like that is very hard to be an adult and try to want those things and you feel like maybe they're not even meant for you Sorry if you heard the rumbling, it's not the song, it's the frickin' storm going over. Frick! Right, we have now reached the end of the album. Final thoughts are you? Uh, listen, there was only two songs I really didn't like out of this album. And those were Moonlight and Ode to Justin Bieber. I think those songs just didn't hit me right on first listen. Now, typical story, banger. Move her away -er, yes. On first listen, yes. Um, the chorus and how he used it in another uh, song. Uh, ugly Kid. You and the Cockroach. <laughs> you roasted people. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Keep being unapologetic. Say what you feel, mean what you say, love it. Subaru Crosstrek XV. That production kills me. I wish I would have listened to it sooner. Like, <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> I could have listened to it, but I didn't because I decided not to. But it was a, it was a good, it was a good choice. Yeah, I keep, I keep telling myself that because like, that's the only way I'm, gonna survive happiness that is one of my deep cut for me I love again when we get into the deep cuts of the album that is not gonna get airplay that is not gonna be played on the radio yes I like that one all in my head I like the uh, background vocalist definitely that um, February 15th I love how that was live made me feel right with the crowd and I wanted to scream on the top of my lungs. Um, sorry, my dear, production-wise, I'm still a little iffy about. I don't know if uh, he did that just to maybe emulate something. Maybe I'm missing it, but I do like the lyrical content in that song. I wish I could hear it more. Um, and I want a dog. You all know how I feel about that song. All right, we have reached the end of this album. I'm so glad I listened to it. Um, if you haven't listened to this album, go listen to it. Like, support. Like, he is such a, he seems like such a nice guy. I haven't met him. I want to. I literally have goals to meet these artists that I review someday. Hopefully it happens. Maybe it won't. Who knows? But I just wanted to listen to this and dive into it and see what was there. And a um, quick question. I don't understand why this is called the fall of Hobo Johnson. Is he, was this supposed to be like more of a manic kind of album where he's, how's he, um, losing himself a little bit or going out of his mind a little bit? I don't know, I don't know, but like, was he always planning on the rise of Hobo Johnson and the fall of Hobo Johnson? Because if he did, 
that's some genius thinking right there. Um, but I've been waiting for this album. I'm glad it dropped. I'm glad I got to review it. So, oh, that was a lot. Um, like this video if you liked what you saw. Um, I try to post new videos every week. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're new, please subscribe down below. If you want to um, comment on anything, leave your comments down there or talk to me on Instagram. Uh, message me through uh, Twitter um, or just add me on Facebook. I, I keep telling people I, I'm, I'm always here if you need me. So um, I'm chill. Why do I do these things? All right. I'll see you guys later.